Fordlandia, The Rise and Fall of Henry Ford's Forgotten Jungle City, by Greg Grandin is a meticulously researched and compelling account of an ambitious but ill-fated venture by one of America's most iconic industrialists. Grandin takes readers on a journey into the heart of the Brazilian Amazon rainforest, where Henry Ford attempted to establish a utopian city in the 1920s, dedicated to rubber production and his vision of American industrialism. This book explores not only the rise and fall of Fordlandia but also delves deep into the broader implications of Ford's ideals and the consequences of his actions on the local environment and people. At its core, Fordlandia is a study of contrasts. It paints a vivid picture of the clash between Ford's rigid, top-down management style and the untamed, unpredictable nature of the Amazon rainforest. Ford's obsession with control and uniformity was ill-suited for the chaotic and diverse ecosystem of the jungle. Grandin brilliantly portrays this conflict through vivid descriptions of the lush, impenetrable landscape, and the numerous challenges faced by Ford's employees, who struggled to impose order on a wilderness that resisted their efforts at every turn. The book also delves into the clash between Ford's vision of industrial efficiency and the realities of labor relations in Brazil. Ford's attempt to transplant American-style factory work and values into a foreign land was met with resistance from Brazilian workers who had their own traditions and expectations. Grandin's narrative skillfully highlights the cultural misunderstandings and clashes that arose as Ford's American managers attempted to impose their methods on the local population. This cultural tension ultimately led to a series of labor disputes and strikes that severely hampered Fordlandia's productivity and exposed the limits of Ford's grand experiment. One of the most fascinating aspects of Fordlandia is its examination of the environmental impact of Ford's venture. Grandin describes how the introduction of non-native plants, such as rubber trees, disrupted the delicate ecological balance of the Amazon rainforest. The monoculture approach that Ford insisted upon left the plantation vulnerable to diseases and pests, leading to a catastrophic failure in rubber production. Grandin's account serves as a cautionary tale about the unintended consequences of attempting to reshape nature to fit a particular vision of progress. Furthermore, Fordlandia is a critique of Ford's paternalistic approach to labor and society. While Ford believed he was creating an ideal community where his workers could live healthy, moral lives, his strict rules and attempts to regulate every aspect of their lives bred resentment and rebellion. Grandin exposes the dark side of Ford's vision, revealing how his utopian aspirations often turned oppressive and dehumanizing. In addition to its analysis of Ford and his grand experiment, the book offers a broader commentary on American industrialism and its global impact. Fordlandia, in many ways, reflects the broader American project of exporting its economic and cultural values to the rest of the world. Grandin explores how Ford's venture was not an isolated incident but part of a larger pattern of American expansionism and economic imperialism. The book raises important questions about the ethics of such endeavors and their consequences on local populations and ecosystems. In conclusion, Fordlandia, the Rise and Fall of Henry Ford's Forgotten Jungle City, by Greg Grandin, is a thought-provoking exploration of ambition, idealism, and the clash between industrialization and nature. Through meticulous research and engaging storytelling, Grandin provides a nuanced analysis of Henry Ford's failed experiment in the Brazilian Amazon. The book serves as a cautionary tale about the limits of American industrialism and the unintended consequences of attempting to impose a rigid vision on a complex and dynamic world. Fordlandia is not just a historical account, it is a reflection on the enduring tensions between progress and preservation, control and chaos, and the global reach of American ideals. 
It is a must-read for anyone interested in the intersection of industry, environment, culture, and power in the 20th century.